Back in the league, Arsenal faced their first real heavyweight contest of the season. Manchester United away at Old Trafford. Keith Hackett has given the goal. Arsenal have stolen a goal here. And the player that they're calling their new match winner. Well, he hasn't won the game here, but he's caught out Sealy. And after spending more than 40 minutes on defending against a purposeful Manchester United, Arsenal have taken the lead. Anders Limpart whipped it in, and Keith Hackett said it was over the line. Unfortunately, it wasn't the finer points of Limpar's goal that would occupy next day's back pages, but the coarser aspects of the competitive spirit. In other words, the second half brawl. In all, 21 players were involved, most, it should be said, trying to calm things down. On top of bookings, Winterburn and Limpar were both to be fined two weeks' wages by the club. So were Roe Castle, Davis and George Graham. While the press reacted with their usual sense of restrained fair play, the players stayed sane with a spot of professional amnesia. What happened against Man United? We won 1-0, didn't we? That was it. Um, yeah, it was a very trying time for the players. You know, we got put under the microscope, so to speak, and uh, it was time when we all pulled together but the team spirit as everybody said is brilliant at the club um, you know we've the next day we'd forgotten all about not forgotten about it but we just got on with playing football and, um, and let the FA and everybody else work out what they were going to do with us way is another that's what happened the following Monday though as the FA Tribunal on the Old Trafford fight decided to hit Arsenal where it hurt, in the title race. At London Colney, it was time for a team talk. Uh, number two, it's the first opportunity I've had to talk to everybody after the, the Tribunal uh, decision. And the media are enjoying it, the majority of the media are enjoying it. Enjoying us getting all this stick, because normally nothing comes out of Highbury, right? And they're enjoying it. Again, lads, there's one way to... There's one way to handle it. Just keep winning matches. They're looking at us and the stick we've been getting the last couple of weeks. Right? It seems fashionable just now to jump in the bandwagon and get into Arsenal. It's fashionable. We're not second bottom, second bottom. We're second top. And that's what they're sick. We're second top of the league. And it's the best start we've had for over 40 years. So keep thinking football all the time. Okay? Think of football. You should all be proud of yourself. And make sure we'll work hard individually and collectively. Right? We're all professional people. You've all got responsibilities to yourself and your families. And keep that in your mind at all times, right? The lads, if we stay together as a unit within the club, and even now, I'm trying to sort of get the crowd right with us, that we've got to get the fans of our side a lot more, like they do up north, especially at home, right? We've got to get them, you know, included in it, because I'm getting loads and hundreds of letters telling us, right, about how unfair it is that the media are jumping on top of the bandwagon, why are we getting bad press? We've got to get the fans on our side. You know, you got up north, it's almost like a gold star. You go to places up there, and we've got to do the same with our fans. And I'll, 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 I'll put them up, don't worry about that. But lads, we've got to watch our behaviour, i telling you right now. But that means we've still got to tackle, we've still got to close down, we've still got to challenge. It was one of many setbacks we've had this year. Um, quite a big setback, two points being deducted. We were all a bit despondent when it happened. Um, and we were eight points behind it at, at one time. Um, but yeah, we've all stuck together through these through these knockbacks and uh, had the strength of character to come through them at the end. The United uh, episode, you know, it's not one we're all proud of, but uh, these things happen in a competitive atmosphere, and I think we were very severely punished uh, for it. And so was Southampton. Now if you come on down to Highbury, you can see Thierry Henry. He is the best player you will ever see. Thierry, Thierry, Henry. Now if you come on down to Highbury.